Hi, I'm David Clark, and after getting my first herpes outbreak, I spent an entire year and hundreds of hours working with the top herpes doctors, healers, and specialists in the world and discovered the secrets to eliminating herpes outbreaks and living a totally, completely normal life with herpes. Everywhere you look online, there seems to be some kind of product that claims to cure or kill the herpes virus. And when I got my first herpes outbreak, I bought a lot of products like that, mostly because they sounded reputable and there were a lot of testimonials. But it turns out that none of them really worked. In fact, it seems like some of them made my outbreaks even worse and last longer than they would have ordinarily. When I started to interview and work with the best herpes doctors, holistic healers, naturopathic doctors, and specialists in the world, one of the first things they told me was that there's no topical treatment that can cure or kill the herpes virus. Even the best topical drug therapies are really not that effective, they told me. When I asked about one of the most popular remedies being sold online, DMSO, they all had the exact same thing to say about DMSO. So I did a ton of reading and I decided that I wanted to verify and validate everything that I had learned from them. DMSO is dimethyl sulfoxide. It's a man-made solvent derived from the pulp and paper industry. It's not a natural product. Its main use is in industrial solvents to clean heavy equipment. Only pharmaceutical grade DMSO, which is 99.99% pure, is safe for prescription use. Now you may think that 99% or 98% pure DMSO sounds relatively safe, but it isn't. DMSO penetrates through your skin, through your cell membrane, and is one of the very few substances that can penetrate your blood-brain barrier. Even a 1% impurity makes any non-pharmaceutical grade DMSO too dangerous for human consumption. DMSO will also carry anything on the surface of the skin right into your bloodstream, such as pollutants, bacteria, viruses, and toxin. And DMSO may also burn and cause severe irritation to the skin. The Food and Drug Administration has approved DMSO for one use only and by prescription only. And that's for treating interstitial cystitis and inflammation of the bladder. The DMSO fad largely began in the 1970s and early 1980s because of a series of books that fell into the category of medical quackery. One of the instigators was Mildred Miller, who wrote several unscientific books about DMSO, but was eventually convicted of medical fraud and went to prison. Since then, the FDA has been cracking down on companies that sell DMSO, but still, some companies online continue to operate by slipping under the FDA's radar. There are a lot of outspoken critics when it comes to DMSO. Author Dr. William Jarvis has said in his report about DMSO, be aware that DMSO has potentially adverse side effects and offers little in the way of medical value. The late Dr. Stephen Sachs, who was considered to be the world's authority on herpes and the author of the popular book called The Truth About Herpes, said that in testing DMSO that it had harmful effects. The FDA has been most aggressive against this dangerous toxin when marketed to those with arthritis. And this is because there are a lot of arthritis safety advocates in the medical community. Not only are there virtually no medical overseers for those with herpes, people who sustain injury from dangerous products like DMSO usually do not seek legal counsel because of the stigma of having herpes and not wanting to draw attention to themselves. This is the reason behind why there are so many bogus products online. Herpes sufferers don't complain when they get ripped off for fear of being outed or exposed for having herpes. As the world-renowned holistic herpes specialist Christopher Scipio said, until people with herpes who are injured by scam products like DMSO take legal action, the sellers of these products can continue to deceive scared and desperate buyers. The verdict from the medical community, the research community, the naturopathic and holistic community is all the same, and they're all in agreement. DMSO is potentially dangerous, and there's no evidence it works for herpes or any other non-FDA-approved use. As far as the testimonials go for these products, for every one that I read, I found 50 or more complaints in both medical forums and with the Better Business Bureau. For your health and safety, please avoid products that claim to cure or kill the herpes virus. This is not possible. It's deceptive and it's junk science. 
There are ethical and effective natural and medical methods for treating herpes successfully and safely, and I'll share those with you in my videos. If you like this video, I made 20 others that cover everything from natural and drug treatment, how to date with herpes, how to tell a potential partner about herpes, and how to have totally safe sex, plus a lot more. Simply go to www.thehspot.net forward slash videos, and you can have all of them free of charge. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you on my free video website.